Good morning. This is Charlie Stocker with Hay Garden Guide. Charlie Stocker, Facebook, YouTube, and HayGardenGuide.com on uh, website. The reason I say that is we invite you, we encourage you to send us pictures, uh, questions, uh, problems, whatever the case may be regarding your garden, and we in turn answer those questions. But in addition to that, we have videos, three-minute videos that just want to educate you and pique your interest on certain plant material that you may not have known existed. And you know by the videos that you've been watching here of late that uh, we're at Ken Dietz's house on Red 1815 Red Bank 815, 815 Red Bank Road. Uh, and it's a menagerie of plants. It's like a kid in a candy jar. It's like Christmas morning and you're getting ready to open up the electric train. I mean to tell you, this is hog heaven. So we've talked about uh, uh, we've talked about um, banana plants, how to care for them. We've talked about elephant ears. Now we're going to look at hostas. Uh, hostas are one of my favorite plants. They're easy to grow. Uh, they grow from a pip, which is a root vegetative structure. And he has more hostas in one place in this acre than I've ever seen at a botan uh, a botanical garden. So tell us the varieties. Tell us the soils that you use to prepare them and uh, the problems that you have with them, Ken. I'm going to give it all to you. It's hard for me to do, but I'm going to give it all to you. Right here behind us, we have two varieties. We have guacamole and blue angel. Blue angel is a very big blue one. And soil preparation is just like the tropicals. They like a good compost soil so everybody can use all their leaves around their hostas and it just makes everything grow better. What I like, what I like is you've got a large tulip poplar here, and how it's still standing, I don't know, because it's a soft wood, and it's our state tree, and why we made it our state tree, I'm not exactly sure, but nonetheless, look how the hostas collar around the tree and kind of soften the base of it. That's the beauty of hosta, and this is marmalade. Guacamole. This is guacamole, and this is blue angel. Blue angel. Biggest, now they're getting ready to bloom here, the Blue Angel is. How tall will this basically get? Uh, this plant here can get six feet wide and about three foot tall. Six feet by three feet. And the guac guacamole is another large grower. It's uh, four to five foot okay. and two to three foot tall. Now, normally you see, by this time of year, you see pinholes, which are from slugs and snails. Tell me about your experience with sn slugs and snails here. I don't have too much problem with snails and slugs. They usually get on your smaller, smaller hostas, leaves that will go down and touch the ground, the slugs will eat on. Okay. But they usually leave the upper leaves alone. So you don't treat slugs and snails no. at all? Okay. Well, folks, here's the treat. Uh, our next video, maybe the next two videos, we're simply going to go around and Ken, I'll be out of the picture, and Ken will explain to you what the different hostas are, how large they grow, and just everything about them. And we've got about 25 hostas that we want to show you, and I'm sure in that group you're going to find one that you like. This is Charlie Stocker with Ken Dietz with Hay Garden Guy Charlie Stocker. Like us. Have a great day. Hi there. This is a hosta in my backyard called Sun and Substance. It's one of the very large growers, one of the largest, and as you can see, this one's three foot. This can get six foot wide. Go. Okay, this is a smaller hosta. Grows really good in shade. This one is called Proud Sentry. Alright, this hosta here we have in the yard is called Liberty. Everybody loves the colors on this one, especially in the spring. And this is a large grower. It'll get about a foot and a half tall, four to five feet wide. This is a very large hosta, and the kids are going to love this one. It's called Jurassic Park. It gets very large. As you can see, this one's probably four, four to five foot wide now, and it can even get bigger.